What's up everyone, we're back out game hunting. This one's gonna be a mix across probably a few days. I've been working nonstop for the last seven or eight days. This is the first chance I've had to get out hunting. Well, it's more of a local sort of run a few errands and hit a few charity shops along the way job. So we'll hit three or four today and a few more early in the week and try and get a video out to you. But we have all the next week off. So there's gonna be loads of game hunting, loads of trading in. We're gonna be picking up loads of games next week. So hopefully there's a good few videos coming out over the next few weeks. But yeah, let's just get straight into the first one and see what we can get. straight into action there grabbed seven games for seven euro they were all a euro each nothing mental in it but i'm pretty sure i don't have any of these i might have this harry potter half blood prince i'm not sure but it was complete anyway at this stage in the game anything that's complete or at least any games that have an okay looking case that are euro we're just going to grab them and we'll worry about it later but got medal of honor european assault on the og xbox copy of the mummy don't have it probably absolutely horrendous i think it's worth like Ascent and trading or something, but you look. Raven Rabbits Travel in Time. I have a couple of Rabbits game. I don't think I have this one. Maybe I do, but you look. Hysteria Hospital Emergency Ward. I'm sure it's an absolute banger, but again, don't have it. Escapist 2. I definitely don't have because I've got about three Xbox One games. So I don't know whether I'll ever come across an Xbox One or not. So I don't know. We'll see if it's worth anything and trade. If it's worth a double up or anything like that, we might just trade it in. Otherwise, we'll just hold on to it. We might play it one day. And then a copy of Black Ops 3, which I definitely don't have. So off to a good start anyway. Let's just keep hitting a few more and see how we get on. The bread is okay. So nothing in those ones, never is really. Sorted if you want a few dodgy Christmas decorations in that second one though. <laughs> Sorry, perfect like an agent there, that was a bit of a tight squeeze getting out, I think I went up in the curb. But yeah, um, let's just go down to one of the old reliable ones. Actually, the last time we were in there, they had a few games and they were sort of priced around three euro, which was a bit steep for some of them. So we'll go in and have a look. But I got a heads up from a friend of mine who found the channel. He sent me a message on Instagram just to let me know that there's actually a brand new charity shop. So it's one of the Vincent's ones, which is one of the regular ones that I go to. But they've opened up and it's sort of close by to this next one that we're going to. So we'll swing by this one and then we might just buzz up to that one and have a look around, see what's in there. He did mention his wife had a look and they've no games, but that was like opening day. So um, you never know, hopefully a few bits have turned up in the meantime. But should we go up and have a look around because it's going to be one that's going to be on like our regular loop anyway. So we might as well go up and get familiar with it and who knows, we might get some games.
I thought it was a Vincent's, I just assumed it was, but I was driving around in circles there for ages thinking I was in the wrong spot. It was actually a Jack and Jill. It's a fairly big charity shop, they have a few nice bits in there, so if you're wondering where it is, it's in the little industrial park just across from our town castle. Um, I did see one game in there, We Carnival, which I got slaughtered for in a couple of videos ago in the comments because I always seem to pick it up and I have it three times over and it's not worth anything in trade. It's good to see at least one game in there, so we know it's one to keep an eye on because we might find a pile one day. But we're going to leave it at that for today. A few games in the first stop, not too bad, but we're going to be doing loads of hunting next week, so hopefully we can get a rake of stuff then. Okay, so it's finally trading day. I've about 40 games in the boot here, a couple of Blu-rays and a DVD box set. Started out with around 54, but I started going through them last night just to get a rough idea of what I could expect in trades. And a lot of them are only trading for 50, 70 cents. I reckon on average I spend about a euro or two on all the stuff that was there, so... I'm gonna average cost them at about 150 each. So anything that trades for less than 150, I just left behind. It's not worth my time, it's not worth CEX's time. We can use the cases for a little swap out, or we might even put them all together and do a little sort of a junk trade in and see if we can get one game or something for it. So we're gonna pop up to CEX now in a little bit. The plan is, well, hopefully if they take them all, I should triple up in value, but either way, the plan is to get 24 games out of whatever trade credit I get. If you follow me on Instagram, or at least if you follow me on Instagram for about a year, you'll probably have a rough idea what I'm going to be doing with that. But either way, you'll probably see by the end of the week. So just outside one of the charity shops now, I was just here on Friday, got a few bits. There's another one on the way up that we're going to pop into as well. So we probably won't find anything, but I always say just pop in because you never know. So let's throw the head in and see if we can find anything. Okay, so there was nothing in that one. I pretty much cleaned them out on Friday. Doesn't look like there's been anything dropped in since. So we'll pop up to the next one, have a quick look, and then we'll head up to CX and get moving on our trade in. my god they had one game in there modern warfare 3 which i say i never buy because i've picked it up a million times over and it's worth nothing to trade but this is the steelbook edition which was complete and in really nice condition straight news up there so pick that up for three euro but the blu-rays ah oh, these are priced at 150 each they're down as dvds so i've spoke about it before that they do a multi-buy in the vincent's here so it's basically buy three pay for two so they were priced at 150 each with that deal it worked out at one euro each so we paid nine euro for that pile of blu-ray i do have a blu-ray collection and a few of these i probably would like to keep but because i'm already on the way up to cex i think we're going to trade all these in and get some bonus games out of it what i might do is i might actually just bring the pile that i have up to the first cex and then there's another one on the way back down so i might bring the blu-rays in there and get something nice in there out of them but just to show very quickly i'll flash these up on the camera but this is Predator 2, 7 euro voucher, 
once upon a time in America. 12 euro voucher, so that's 19. French connection. Is 12, so that's 31. Casino. Is 6, so we're up to 37. Big Lebowski, one of my favourite films of all time. Is 6, so we're up to 43. Hopefully I'm doing this right in my head and I'm not making the show of myself with my dodgy mats. So 43, we've got Bronx Tale, a tenner, is 53. I'm probably mad, I should probably be selling these, but we just want a quick flip. 12 Monkeys, the 6, 59. Misery, is 7, 65. And then Jaws, I already actually have one of these in the bag, ironically. It was the only reason I even picked it up in the first place was because I knew I could get 7 euro for it because I scanned it last night. Last count of what I had, we're at about 70 quid in trade just for those. But yeah, just by picking that Jaws up, I decided to have a scan of the rest of them. So when you see Blu-rays in the charity shop, always scan them because you never know. Like that's 9 euro that we're going to turn into 70 in credit. That's a massive profit. So we're going to waste no more time. Let's get straight up to CX, start doing some trading and start picking up some games. <laughs> Okay, so the trade-in was successful. Big shout to the lads in CEX up in Santry. They were absolutely dead sound. Went through all the games. I think in the end there was about six that were a bit too scratched to take, and one that slipped through the net that was only worth about 40 cent in trade that I thought was over 150. But other than that, we came to a total of 164 and 70 in a voucher. What I'll do is I'll slowly just show it for anyone who might want to kind of have a a pause on some of the stuff to see what we brought up what we exchanged and how much we got for it but did grab 24 games out of that didn't even actually spend the whole 164 i only spent 154 i must have added something up wrong in my head or maybe something was priced a bit lower than while it's stickered but there's a deadly mix of stuff there i've got ps2 games nintendo 64 wii ps3 ds 3ds xbox 360 psp gamecube mad mix of stuff so if you want to see what was in that make sure that you're following me on instagram or tiktok as well i probably post a video every day essentially what i did last year and i'm gonna do again it was like the 24 games of christmas so i have this giant stocking i'm gonna wrap up the 24 well i'm not gonna wrap the 24 games i'll put them in an envelope or something like that but i put them into this giant stocking and every day for the month of december up until christmas eve i draw a random game out and show what it is so it could be a shitty one euro game it could be a really nice nintendo 64 game it could be anything at all but that bit's done now anyway so i'm going to go into another cex i'm going to bring in those blu-rays that i got in the charity shop earlier on hopefully get something nice out of it i think i worked it out there were about 70 euro worth of trade credit in those blu-rays and i have a tenner left over from the voucher there so we might guess 
don't know what to get one nice thing for 80 or maybe get a few games but we'll go in and have a look and we'll see what they have and see what we end up getting Right, so we're just back from that CEX. Those Blu-rays got us 73 euro total in trade credit, so that was pretty sweet for nine euro spent. And this is what we're after getting out of it. So I picked up five games. I was in there for ages trying to pick stuff out. In the end, I put like 10 quid of my own money towards it because I asked if I could grab this Donkey Kong 64 from the window. And he wasn't sure if I meant that one or this Ness one. So this was actually 35, not 38, and this one was only 22. So I said, you know what? Give us the two of them. So that was 60 gone. Grabbed a copy of Ghostbusters on the PS2. Oh, Jesus, this is complete for a tenner. Shadow of the Colossus. It's not in the best of condition, but it's an absolute must-have for a PS2 collection. So when I seen that, I said, why not? It's basically costing us nothing but the trade credit. And then I just grabbed this Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20-year celebration for the PS4. Just a nice little steel book. Well, not a steel book, but you know what I mean? It's like a hard book, so a special edition. So, so we get that. So pretty much for nine euro spent and then probably 10 of my own money so 19 euro for all that stuff just by trading a few blu-rays so can't go wrong but we're going to head back to the house now going to try and get a bit more hunting done tomorrow and then try and get a video out on thursday so we'll see you all then and hopefully have a bit more luck tomorrow okay so we're in swords it's our last day of game hunting before we get this video out. we're just going to hit the two up here if we get something great if not we did pretty well out of that blu-ray trade yesterday but before we go any further it's the moment you've all been waiting for since you've seen the thumbnail 15 well Hopefully not 15 minutes ago because we do a lot of talk in this video, so um, we'll do our best to edit some of that out. But yeah, it's giveaway time, so we're going to be giving away this PSP. So the rules of entry are very simple as always. You need to be subscribed to the channel, you need to like the video, and just to put a little bit of a different spin on it, I'm going to ask a question and just put your answer in the comments down below. All correct entries that are subscribed and that have liked the video will automatically enter the competition. I will close it off exactly one week from now, so... By the time this video comes out, that'll be tomorrow. So Thursday, the 8th of December at midnight, we'll close off the competition because I want to get it done and I want to get this sent out to someone for Christmas. So it'll be the PSP and a charger, nothing fancy. I have no extra games lying around to throw in with it, but I still think that's a pretty good prize. So along with those other two things, like, subscribe, and just answer this very simple question. Well, simple if you watch the videos. If not, you might have to go back and do a little bit of research, but just tell me where the PSP came from. I got two of them in one go. This is an extra one that I'm giving away. Just tell me where the PSP came from and you're in the competition and you're in with a chance of winning. So that's out of the way. Let's get through here. Let's hit the two charity shops and let's find some games. Five minutes later. Okay, so I didn't grab all those games in the end. Sometimes the games are 50 cent in there, sometimes they're three euro. This time they were three euro. So I whittled it down to a pile of about 13. I was kind of on the fence about a few of them, but I said three euro each for games that I probably will play and keep for the collection. I wasn't looking to trade any of it off. But it turned out it was buy one, get one free day. So we ended up with 13 of them at 150 each. So I spent 19.50 for 13 PlayStation 2 games. There's some absolute crackers in there. So yeah, that's it, the last stop now. And then we go back to the car and have a look at what's in the bag. Okay, so back in the car, time to go through that PS2 haul that we picked up. One or two that I think I already have, but I got to the till, as I said, and I thought they might have been 50 cent each, but they were actually 150 each by the time we did like a little multi-buy deal. So I took about four out of the pile and put them back 
I can't even remember which ones they were. I think I chose right. There was a few there that I'm pretty sure were would have been about what they were worth. So we left them back on the shelf for someone else to have. But what we did end up getting, I'm pretty sure I have the GTA. I just got that because that trades all day long. Not sure. I think I have Beautiful Joe and I definitely have this Final Fantasy X. So I'll have a look at mine and see. This one is complete anyway with the manual and stuff like that. So it could be just a condition upgrade for me and then trade the other one off. But we'll grab Tekken 5. I'll put the values up here. The Godfather, GTA Vice City, this one came with, I don't know if it was supposed to come with a map, but it has the manual, oh actually it's got the San Andreas disc in it, I didn't even notice that, but that's in pretty nice condition, that's probably a fairly common thing actually to get odd GTA discs and cases, so I'm sure we'll mix and match it another time. A copy of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, this one is not complete, but we'll take it, it's a decent game. The Tony Hawk Underground 2. Nice manual in that one. A platinum, but it's a copy of Max Payne. Do I have the original Max Payne? I might have picked it up in a little bundle deal a while ago. I'm not sure. I'll have to check when I get back to the house, but that could be a good trader anyway, if not. A copy of Ratchet Gladiator. I'm actually looking forward to having a play of this one. This is nicely complete as well. We got Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. I think I have a Lord of the Rings game. I'm not sure if it's this one or Fellowship, but I've never actually played them, and the Lord of the Rings games are supposed to be pretty decent on PS2, from what I can remember, so... Looking forward to a go with that over the Christmas. Grabbed, oh, this one had the bonus disc in it. Actually, this is a copy of Max Payne 2. This is also complete, and it came with a bonus PlayStation Magazine little demo disc number 6058. So, I'm gonna pop that in and see what's on it. That'll be a bit of crack discovering what's on that disc. This is Beautiful Joe. I mentioned that I'm pretty sure I have this one already, or maybe it's the second one, I'm not sure, but this is nice and complete. It's a really nice manual on it and the disc is, look at the disc actually, it's absolutely perfect. It's like it was never played so more than likely that will be a condition upgrade because as I'm sure you know picking up PS2 games in charity shops a lot of the time the discs can be a bit dodgy and manuals can be a bit yeah, but most of these look pretty nice. I'd say they all come in from the same person's collection but yeah Devil May Cry 2 not the best cover on it but again nice manual and look at the disc it's absolutely perfect so definitely getting some nice stuff for the collection here. And then finishing up with this is a class one. It's Sega Mega Drive Collection. This is actually complete. Again, really nice manual. Discs a little scuffed up. It's definitely been played, but nothing that'll stop it from playing. But yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a list of what games are on the back of it. Actually, I'm not sure if it'll come up backwards on the GoPro, but it's a Golden Axe, Sonic, Echo the Dolphin, Altered Beast, Virtua Fighter 2, Royster, Comic Zone, and Columns. And then there's a few others in there as well. So looking forward to popping that in and having a quick go of that. But yeah, that's it for this one. Wasn't sure if I'd get anything at all in Swords. That shop is really hit and miss. Sometimes you get one or two games. Most of the time there's nothing. And today we got a pile. So like I say, all the time, just hit any charity shop you see because you never know what you're going to find on a given day. Don't forget to enter the PSP giveaway. We will have another video before Christmas comes around. And I mentioned later on I'm going to be doing the 24 games of Christmas. So make sure and check that out on Instagram and TikTok. I did think about putting a YouTube short up every day, but I think... The same video across three platforms will be overkill. I didn't want to go spamming anyone's YouTube feeds or anything like that. So if it's something you want to see over here, let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking along. And we'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.